Today we're doing a flush, man. You see, all you need is some good old fashioned saline, a syringe, and an AI. A AI, just AI kit, reverse AI pretty much. I'm gonna flush this dog for a partner of mine. I'm gonna do a step by step. He gonna be behind the camera. Y'all just pay attention. On. It's not harmful to the dog at all. You know what I'm saying? It really helps the dog because this if the dog pull like this, it can kill them. So just trying to relieve it. We got, got the dog on antibiotics already. You know what I'm saying? To keep her from getting any infection, but we gotta also release that blood that she's holding. Hmm. Pretty little bull. And you see they say high rear dogs. The ones that hold the most blood. That's bullshit. This dog don't have no fucking rear at all. They say high rear dogs pull blood. That shit bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Don't listen to that. Any dog will pull blood. Pull blood not a bad thing. You just got to know how to treat it and get rid of it. What I'm gonna do is, just like you're doing the AI, going in them, just like you're doing any AI, and we've been draining her every day. Not every or every other day since she's been in heat. <laughs> I like you doing AI. When I got my tube in, I insert the saline. That's what they call this a reverse AI. But I'm gonna show y'all a trick though. So when you get enough in there and there's enough blood in it, it's gonna start running out by itself. Once I do this, and go in her, and I start pulling, see? Y'all see that? See that blood? See that? Look, see? Once I get a flow, see that? That's all that blood she holding in there. We want all that blood out. So I squeeze right here on the abdominal area, see? It's coming out of her vagina. Cause I put that saline in them. See that? Get that blood out. I do it on this, so I can clean this. I can always sterilize this. Flush out, man, flush these dogs out. Add more saline. I want to do this and, and many times until it, it starts getting clear. When all that blood starts coming out and it start getting clear, squeeze, squeeze on the abdominal. See? Get all that stuff up out of her, man. That ain't good. And we're doing a surgical, I suggest surgical effort for your girl pool. I suggest surgical. Because it's better, it bypasses the blood. You don't got to do no TC or none of that because that's all affected with the blood. But surgical bypass the blood, but you do not want this blood in there. This blood will turn into an infection and your dog will get parvo. So just flushing them, cleaning them, flushing them, and the biotics. Kind of graphic, man, but it's helped the dog for real. It helped the dog more than it hurt, hurt the dog. I'd rather do this to my dog than just let it sit there. Your dog can die. From that stuff just sitting in them. And whatever antibiotics you should you want to use, you can use um Baytrill, you can use the peel Baytrill. That's uh what is it called? I got I got the name of that's a pill, it's a generic brand of the pill. See how I keep getting lighter and lighter. Every time we go in with that with that saline, see? It's getting lighter and lighter. We wanna do that. 
till the, till you see it look like she started to look like blood again. Lighter and lighter, man. Lighter and lighter. And look what I'm doing. I'm just squeezing right here in her abdominal area, right where I can feel the tube, just to get it out. She'll thank you later. Trust me. How much time on this video? How much time on it now? Five minutes. Okay. You know, these videos can't be too long, so. Yeah, man, this is what we're doing. We're doing a flush today, a progesterone today, and a surgical, man. Y'all tap in, man. Whatever you need to learn, I'll teach you. Right on here. And cut it.